Hey, this is Zora. Questions from via email. Okay. The question that I've been trying to answer for a long time is, please like and subscribe. But then the question, well, today I don't have on any lipstick because I had problems with it. Now I'm scared to wear it. But anyway, I did put on a little baby oil on my skin and wash my face. And my granddaughter came and used my eyelashes, so that's why I don't have them on. Anyway, the question that I wanted to answer from a, I forgot the name of the person, but anyway, was our psychics real? And then another question close to that question was, can they prove that people are psychics? And I'm trying to tell them until the viewers now, if there are any, that psychics were used to capture one of the terrorists. And this was, what, four years ago or something like that? They call them remote viewers. So you can look it up. It's spelled R-E-M-O-T-E, -E, viewers, V-I-E-W-E-R-S. Remote viewers are able to see through walls and windows and see what a person, where a person is and what he's doing. You don't believe it, but it's true. Some are trained and some just naturally are like that. Okay. So when you're naturally like that, then believe it or not, the government actually had the project going. And these people that were remote viewers actually volunteered. It was a group of them. They didn't really know each other. They were from different areas of life, different walks of life. And, you know, and they all got together. They were asked a question, and they all came with answers. Most of the answers were the same. So they were able to locate uh, a terrorist. We won't say who it was, but he was pretty popular as a terrorist. And they located him and extinguished him. Okay. They were able to extinguish him by the information the remote viewers actually gave to um you know, the general or whoever was in charge. So yes, people really are psychics. Psychics really, you know, do things, but they're called remote viewers. Those are different types. So if you really want to get into it, you know, you can study it. But yes, psychics, people are psychics. And yes, they do things for the government as well as for other people. Believe it or not, a lot of very, very rich millionaires, billionaires, use psychics, okay? They're actually on their payroll. So, if you want to study it, go right ahead. Maybe you could be on somebody billionaire's payroll. Who knows? Now, that was the one question that was asked me. Another question was asked me by a person that wanted to go to school at the University of Illinois, but according to what he wanted to study, he really should go to Illinois Technology School, you know, a high tech school where he can study things. Because the University of Illinois is good, but I think it's better in some areas. I don't know about the computer science area, but I know it's, it's good in medicine, you know, stuff like that. So I think the question, the answer to that question is he should have went to, um, or he should go to a high tech school, Illinois Technology, School of Technology is one of them. Okay. And then there are other ones all over the country. So now if you have a question and you want me to answer it, send it to the Aura Show at Gmail, not the Aura Show at Yahoo. Uh, that's not where I answer the questions. I answer the questions at the Aura Show at Gmail. T H E A U R A S H O W at gmail.com. I'm not being unfair to those, but I noticed most of the questions in the past were about love affairs, and I'm really tired of that, really. I mean, I want to see some more positive things going on instead of nitpicking in relationships. So therefore, I took on the questions that I would receive from Q-U-O-R-A. And it's a good three or 400 questions. 
that I could answer over a period of time. So I'm not worried about that, okay? So those are the two answers. So if you have a question, and it's not necessarily about love relationships, you know, I answer a couple of them, but I've answered. If you go over my readings by Aura or readings with Aura, you will see that most of the questions were about romance, okay? I'm not, I mean, I'm a romantic, but after a while, you kind of get tired. Too much of anything kind of gets on your nerve. So asking me questions about other things, I think, you know, it's a little better. Especially young people that want to major in certain areas, that want to go to college, that want to do better in life. I'd much rather answer those questions, okay? To me, they're much more simpler. Okay. So... I hope you have a nice week, and we're in December, December the 2nd, 2019. I know people are already, they're putting up decorations for Christmas, you know. All I did was just decorate my, um, what did I decorate? Uh, I don't know, that, oh, I decorated the bookcase. That's it so far. I'll be putting up more. So, this is me, Aura. So, if you have a question, only one question free. The reason why I like QURA is because they ask one question per person. Okay? And so, you can answer that. You can focus on it. But when you start asking all those different questions and you haven't paid anything, that's not fair to the other people that have asked one question. So I'm thinking to myself, who they supposed to be that they can, can get answers to three questions and everybody else get answered to one. You know, most of these people, I don't even know them. I just met them online doing the readings. I am not Miss Cleo, okay? I'm real. Fourth generation Cherokee mixed with a little Italian and some other stuff. Of course, African American. That was my grandma, my grandpa. He was second generation Cherokee with hot cheekbones, long white hair. He always wore his hair in two long braids down his back. He was beautiful. He's a beautiful man. Reddish brown, hot cheekbones. I love my grandpa. And that was my maternal grandpa. Okay. And then Catherine Williams was his mother, was my grandfather's mother. And she was a beautiful Native American too, Cherokee. Long black hair down to her waist, high cheekbones, darker in color than me. Okay, and that was Catherine Williams. All right, so until then, I hope you have a blessed week. And you know, I try to stay on here a little bit. I guess eventually I'll go back to being live, but I might not be answering questions from people. You know, I might be doing something else because I do get bored easily. You know, even now I'm, I'm working my crossword puzzles in Spanish and in English. It shows you how bored I am. So, I'm sorry about what happened in, it, in the London Bridge, but I got all kind of clues about it because I kept watching It Takes Two, you know, that movie. And I kept looking at the part where one of the twins, they had changed places and they were at camp. And they were doing impersonating and you were supposed to guess what they were doing. And so her thing was... London Bridge falling down. So she just fell out on the, on the stage, if you remember that part in the movie. And then they had to guess what she was talking about. And it was London Bridge falling down. And I kept on getting other little clues about bridges, you know. And I said, yeah, it must going to be something on the London Bridge. I just put the two things together in my head. But then I just went on to something else because I figured they would solve that if it was in London. I'm not saying that if it was in the USA, they wouldn't solve it, but USA over-dramatizes everything, if you noticed. So, I'm going to say goodbye. I'm still drinking out of my little cup that I want at Burns Junk Closet. And I'm slowly getting some subscribers. And I don't know what I'm going to do on the 10th, you know. If I'm still here, good. If I'm not, I'll be somewhere else. 
but I hope I'll be on TV. Because I think television, I thought television was a problem. But the more I see YouTube, the less I'm thinking TV ain't so bad after all, you know. It really is not. And I researched the OMI problem, or OMI, OMI, yeah, he was a YouTuber. I had never even heard of him until uh, Boogie Bob talked about him, you know. So I thought he was a rapper. I didn't know he was a gamer and a YouTuber and all those different things. But I'm really sorry for him. He's under the sign of Leo the Lion. And sometimes, you know, they do things because they don't have enough courage to do right. So they do wrong. But like he said, he's going to stand up and be a man about it. And so, you know, I was happy to hear that. I just was concerned for his kids, you know. Because, you know, it's not nice to have kids have to visit you in jail, really. I used to work in a prison ministry, and I know what it's like. Okay? So, you know, I really, I'm praying for him, and I'm hoping he do better. And I'm hoping he don't commit suicide like he said he wanted to do. You know, I was paying attention to everything that went on with that. And I was trying to pinpoint exactly what he did wrong, but he said something about copyrights and stuff like that. And I say, yeah, that is a big issue at YouTube, copyrights. So, you know, I mean, when I was a can TV, like I say, they would stop you before you even try to put it on the air because they have to go through everything. But can TV is a small organization in comparison to YouTube. So they could stop it. So now, I mean, they give you a little paragraph that's saying, uh, you know, I hope you're aware that there's a child privacy act going on before you download this video. And then, you know, you think yourself, you say, oh, yeah, I got to say, yes, it's for children, if it's for children. So we didn't have to go through that at Can TV. So if you were creative, you had your own stuff, they would let you on there. It would be no problem, you know. And if it was somebody else's stuff, like if you try to put movies on there, let's say you try to to um, do a thing, a study on a movie and stuff like that, a lot of times they wouldn't let you do it because they said, well, this movie is copyrighted, so you can't do this. So there's a big difference between YouTube and television. I'm not bragging because it was not nice. It was not easy. I learned a lot there, you know, and I appreciate it, and I'm so happy that I took the courses that they offer and that I stayed focused and on there for more than 10 years. You know, I met some very good people there. My assistant, he was beautiful. He's a beautiful spirit, you know, and he helped me with a lot of stuff. He did a lot of my work for me. I didn't have to do a lot of things, so he did them for me. So sometimes you meet some good people, you know, you're fortunate and you feel blessed. And I feel God is with him and I hope he's doing better I know at one time he had been sick, but he made it, you know, so he was a blessed Sagittarius. So until then, I'm saying bye, and I hope to be on maybe on the weekend doing some interesting things, and I'm still working on my computer to get it up and going the way I want it to. Actually, we had downloaded too many viruses, and it wasn't too much we could do but clean it, so that's life. Until then, Odiba, see you later.